Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, about the plastic load. How to calculate the plastic load for this fixed beam using the uh, static equilibrium method, right? So in this problem, uh, we need to calculate what is the value of this plastic collapse load. Okay, and we will be using the static equilibrium method. Static equilibrium method. Okay, so. This is basically a fixed beam, right? So what is the stat? First, we need to identify what is the static indeterminacy of this beam. Okay. So as you can see that at this A support, there will be two reaction, one vertical and there will be one moment. Okay. Similarly at B, there will be two reactions, one vertical and one moment, right? So uh, total, total reactions are, total reactions are basically four. Equilibrium equation will be two, summation Fy0, and summation mz0 okay i'm not taking any horizontal direction we are neglecting the horizontal direction okay so our uh, static indeterminacy of this beam is basically 2 right so now next next step is to calculate next step is to calculate what is the what you can say right what is the moment equilibrium equation for this this uh, this for this loading system on this beam right so next step is to calculate what is the moment equilibrium equilibrium equation okay we need to form the moment equilibrium moment equilibrium equation okay so in this problem the static indeterminacy is basically two so here i will be having two redundants two redundants okay so as we have already discussed i need to take moment as redundant okay so i am taking ma and mb as redundant okay so now if i take ma and mb as redundant why we are taking redundant because the static indeterminacy static indeterminacy of this beam is 2 okay so uh, i'm taking these two values as redundant okay we need to form the moment equilibrium equation so now now let us break this beam into two into three parts right so first part will be where I am removing the redundants. It will look like this. And one load P is applied. Right? Second, this is let us suppose MA, this is VA, this is VB, and this is MB. Okay. Second beam will look like this. Where we will be applying the redundant? Okay, so redundant will look like this. If you apply the MA moment on this beam, it will look like this. Okay, plus again, there at this point B, the moment will act like this. Okay, so this is MB, right? So this is the cube. These these, two, these three uh, these three beams will combine to give you this the effect of this fixed beam. Okay, right. Now it is very easy to form the moment equilibrium equation using this method. Okay. So if you write moment equilibrium under this point for this point, let us suppose this point is C. Okay, this, this point is C for this C point. Okay. So if you use the concept of moment equilibrium, let us come to this first part. This in this this beam, where this simply supported beam, where P load is acting at this C point. Okay, so uh, and this distance is basically six, and this is two, right? So moment at the moment at C, MC less MC one. Let us denote it by one. MC one will be equals to P. A B six into two over my L. L is what total load, total eight. Okay, total length is eight, right? So this will be four. This is two. This is three. So M C one is equals to three P by two, right? So moment under this load, under under this load is three P by two, and this is basically a sagging load. This is positive. 
Okay, if you draw the bending moment diagram for this beam, it will look like this. And the value will be P into A B by L. Well, this is A, this is B. So in this portion A is 6 and B is 2. So this value will become 3 by 2 P, right? So this is the bending moment diagram for this, this part. Okay, now we came come to now we come to the second second part second part this this second beam. Okay, so if you draw the bending moment diagram for this thing, it will look like this. This is M A, this is B, and this is A. So at this point C, at this point C, what will be the moment value? So moment value will be moment value will be if this is six, this is two. So I can write, I can use the concept of linear interpolation and I can write MA over MA 8 equals to X over MA 2. Okay. So this value will be MA by 4. So this value is MA by 4. Right. And this is negative. This is positive. Okay, if you draw the bending moment of this thing, it will look like this. Okay. So why we are calling it as a equilibrium method? Because these things we are calculating using the equilibrium concept. Summation M0, summation F5 0. Okay. Similarly, if you draw the bending moment diagram for this part, this portion, it will look like this. Okay. So again, you need to calculate the moment at this C point. Right. So again, if you use the concept of again linear interpolation, so I can write M B over me eight equals to X over me six. So this will be M B into six over me eight. This is three by four. So this moment is three by four of M B. Right. So. Uh, the net moment net moment at C point net moment at C will be MC will be 3 by 2 P okay minus of MA by 4 minus of 3 by 4 MB right so this is the equilibrium equation. This is very important. This is the equilibrium equation. Equilibrium equation. Okay. This thing is done. Now, now we will now we will be now we will be deciding. We need to find the collapse load. So we will be now we need to identify at what points the hinge hinge will form. Plastic hinge will form. So plastic hinge will form at this A point. Okay. This A point, this under this P point, and this this point. Okay, static indeterminacy of beam is two, right? So to make the beam determinate, we require two plastic inch, right? And for to and to make it unstable, we require extra plastic inch. So total plastic hinges, total plastic hinge, total plastic hinge hinges required for collapse for collapse will be static indeterminacy plus 1. So that will be 2 plus 1 which is equals to 3. We have identified the position of the plastic hinges. Okay. Now we will put the value of the what you can say that this uh, this plastic moment in our equilibrium equation. Okay. So this thing is done. So now the plastic moment the plastic uh, moment is forming the plastic hinge is forming at this A, C and this B point. Okay. So uh, when this beam is bent, you can see here when this beam, this is our fixed beam and here the load is applied P. Okay. So the plastic hinge will form like this. Here one plastic hinge form, here one plastic hinge form, one plastic hinge form at this point, B point. Okay. So they add, during the collapse, it will deflect like this. Okay. So the plastic moment 
will act like this MP over here, MP over here. Okay. This is MP and this is MP. Right? That's why you can see that this negative sign is coming over here. Okay. This negative sign is there. If you draw the bending moment diagram, this MP is considered negative. Okay. Sagging moment we are considering positive and hogging moment we are considering negative basically. So again, if you put the value of M, if you use now, we know that where the plastic hinges will form. Okay. So at this A, MA point, MA value will be MP during collapse. MB value, MB value will be MP during collapse. Okay. So now, now you can see that at, at MC, at MC, the, the plastic movement is basically, the direction of the plastic movement is basically, it is positive. Okay. The, the direction of the plastic movement is positive. Right. It is, this is inducing basically sagging. Okay. So MC, I can write directly MP. Okay. So this is MP equals to, what is the value? 3 by 2 P, 3 by 2 P minus, what is the value? MA is MP because plastic can be formed. Right. And direction we have, we had already considered. Okay. We have already considered the direction. And similarly, 3 by 4 of MP. MB is also equals to MP. Right. So now from here, Now from here you can see that MP is equals to 3 by 2 P minus MP by 4 minus 3 by 4 of MP, right? So this value will be MP by 4 plus 3 by 4 of 3 by 4 of MP and this is equals to 3 by 2 P, okay? So this value will be 4 plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4 mp equals to 3 by 2 p right so this is 2 mp equals to 3 by 2 p okay so p collapse will be equals to 4 mp by 3 right so this is the value of the collapse load. Why we are taking calling it as collapse load? Because three plastic hinges are formed. Okay. So the so you can say that the uh, the collapse load value will comes out to be plastic moment is given 80 kilo newton meter. Okay. So four into 80 divided by three. Right. So this is basically. Four into 80 divided by three. So this value comes out to be P collapse, P collapse comes out to be 106.667 kilo newton. Okay. So this is the value of the collapse load. When the load value reaches to this point, the beam, the, there is a, there will be a mechanism formation in this beam. Okay. Now, our equilibrium condition is satisfied. Because we have derived all these equations using equilibrium method, so no need to satisfy the equilibrium condition. Okay, so and again the mechanism condition is also satisfied. Three hinges are found. Okay, so mechanism is also there. Now we will be check checking whether the yield condition is satisfied or not. Okay, we need to check whether it is a true mechanism or not. Okay, now. If you draw, if you draw the bending moment diagram of first of first this case, okay. First, this free body diagram only for this simply supported beam when load P is acting. Okay, so this value will become it will be sagging moment. So this value will be. 4 into 8, 4, okay. four, uh, 4 into 80 into 6 into 2 divided by 3, 
So this value is basically 1280 kilonewton meter. Okay. So this is 4 into 80 into 6, sorry, 6 into 2 divided by 3 divided by 8. Sorry, this value comes out to be 160. 160 kilonewton meter. Okay. So I'm just drawing the free body for this AB portion, right? Now uh, so, so I am drawing the bending moment for this 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 thing. This simply supported beam where the, this P load is acting, where this collapse load is acting, right? Now, now you can see that at this point, at uh, for this MA, for this uh, for this portion, the bending moment diagram will look like this, and this is the value of MP, which is 80 kilometer meter. Okay. Similarly. For this portion, the bending moment diagram will look like this. Okay. So if you if you combine these two diagrams, if you combine these two diagrams, these two bending moment diagrams, it will look like this. If you combine these two bending moment diagrams, it will look like this. Here also this is MP and here also this is MP. We are combining these two bending moment diagrams. Okay. So if you add one, one, one ordinate from here and one ordinate from here, it will give you the value MP. Okay. That's why this line is constant MP. Okay. Now, this bending moment diagram is remaining. Okay. So if you simply overlap this diagram on this, it will look like this. Here this is negative, this is positive and this is negative, right? So you can see that, you can see that this value will be, this is the, the at this, the value, this value will be 160 minus of 80, which is 80. This is the plastic hinge zone, plastic hinge, there is formation of plastic hinge. At this point also there is formation of plastic hinge and at this point also there is a formation of plastic hinge. So you can see that, so you can see that our bending moment diagram will look like this. Okay, anywhere in the beam, anywhere in the beam the moment is not crossing the MP value. So our yield condition is also satisfied. Yield condition is also satisfied. Okay, so we have satisfied our three condition. One is equilibrium condition because we are writing this uh, using the our starting point is basically we are writing the equilibrium equation. So no need to satisfy the equilibrium equation. You can no need to satisfy. Why? Because we are writing uh, we, all these equation we are finding to equilibrium only. Okay. Second is mechanism. Three hinges are formed. That's why this is mechanism. Okay. And third yield condition we have checked through the bending moment diagram. Okay. This value is eighty. This value is 80, this is 80. So M is always less than or equals to MP, right? So this is the problem in which we have calculated the fixed plastic collapse load using the concept of static using the concept of static equilibrium method, right? So if you have any doubt in this problem, you can write in the comment section. Okay, guys. So thank you very much.